This video will show how to trace a sequential function chart step or transition line to the continuous function chart block parameter. Because the APL structure parameter was resolved at the time of the SFC sequential function chart was configured, the method of tracing from the SFC back to the continuous function chart CFC is the same whether a standard parameter or a structured parameter is being traced. In the plant view, double click on the SFC underscore control underscore V L V man SFC or sequential function chart. Double click on the step B L B underscore two underscore man. Select the processing tab. Select in the line that has the access point you want to trace. It is not necessary for the entire line to be highlighted. Click the go to button. The continuous function chart editor will open. The parameters access point from the sequential function chart will be highlighted blue. Close the continuous function chart after examining the parameter. Select the termination tab. Select the line to be traced. Click the go to button. The continuous function chart opens with the parameter access point highlighted in blue. After examining the parameter, go ahead and close the continuous function chart. Close the step properties window. Double click on the BLB underscore to man transition. Select the condition tab. Then you select the line to be traced. As in tracing from a step, you click the go to button. The parameter access point from the transition is highlighted in blue. After examining the parameter, you can close the continuous function chart. Close all open windows, bringing us back to the semantic manager.